Well, my name is Kenneth Roberts. Um, I'm originally from the Virgin Islands, St. Croix, um, and I'm a first year student here at the David A. Clark School of Law. I always wanted to do something in public interest, um, but eventually when I came to law school, I thought I wanted to do something in higher ed law um, on that side, but having participated in the law and justice and doing my community service, now I'm open to more options to see you know, what's out there. Um, I had the opportunity to work in the advocacy and social justice department at So Others Might Eat, um, also known as SUM. Um, and it's a community-based organization that works to help the poor and homeless residents of DC. Um, it let me see that there is a lot more out there than the things that I think are out there and so it opened my eyes to a lot of other opportunities that I didn't think were available or that were possible or that made sense or that connected to law. Um, and so we learned a lot about you know being an advocate for clients and you can do that in a number of different ways um, and not necessarily just always in the courtroom or um, different things. There are other avenues for you to be an advocate for a client um, and that there are talents that you can um, you know generate from the people in your community and use those for the better good within society. And so I think I was able to realize that it's more than you know just the cases and different things. It's more of building um, those one-on-one -on -one relationships with people um, and figuring out how you can be an advocate for them or help them to be an advocate for themselves. I was able to work on you know different memorandums and stuff um, in terms of the Child Sexual Abuse Act and different things, and you know having to write uh, memos for our classes as well. So that was good practice, um, and I was able to get feedback from my supervisor in terms of you know like you know this is you know what your client will think is useful or is not. And so being able to translate some of that learning um, as well as to use stuff that I was learning in the classroom in a practical way was also very helpful. So I actually completed my 40 hours probably within the first two or three weeks I was there. So I think I'm up to 150 hours or so by now. Um, but there's still, you know, there's still a lot of help that they could use. And so my plan is to, you know, kind of keep with it. Definitely, um, not only, my supervisor is actually a lawyer um, as well. Um, and so talking with her has also been beneficial with everything from, you know, navigating the field to, you know, getting prepared for class and different things. Um, but I also had the opportunity to meet a lot of the council members in DC. Um, and so talking with them about, you know, kind of what their focuses are and, you know, ways that I can get involved as a law student. Um, and they all actually had really good things to say about UDC students and encouraged me to stay in touch with them um, when it came time for me to look for internships and stuff like that. In addition to all of the experience and opportunities that I had, you know, interacting with the law and legal system, I think I was also able to build a good network um, of lawyers and other individuals who are influential and could assist me with, you know, getting my career off of the ground. Their, their goal is to make sure that I get as much experience as I can um, through this, which has definitely happened so far, and so I'm sure they'll build me up and find me connections to, you know, different areas within the city as well. So I think because of the Law and Justice course and because of the community service requirements and different things, um, I would have more practical experience in actually dealing with clients and dealing with the court system and different things that can actually help me to hit the ground running once I am um, in the real world. And it may be a less of a learning curve um, for me just because, again, I would have had access to those opportunities.